Kelabonga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing my 148th Mezco Toys 112 Collective action figure review, this time being of the High Roller Box Secret Agent Gomez. Now this is something that we've been waiting for since the summer, now it's winter and it's finally here, so what are we waiting for? Let's check out this awesome box set. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the box here that we do get with this high roller thing. Um, it looks really cool, got a great image of the high roller Gomez right there with all the different card suits and things like that. I got the poker chips and the Mezco Con Summer 2021, that's really cool. Uh, you got some great images on the side here of some of these other characters. Uh, the roulette wheel on the back looks really awesome too. Uh, you got more characters on this side. Uh, with that girl right there, another skeleton dude. Uh, we have that giraffe character on the top like that. Uh, see on the bottom here, we got a little fight scene going on with some skulls and the boom boom like that. So that's really cool, dude. I really do like this box. So, uh, of course, before we look at the actual figure, I'm going to go ahead and crack this thing open and let's see all the cool goodies that we get. Okay, so first off, we get some stickers here. Uh, we got this giraffe character, uh, <laughs> apparently named Jeff O'Ray. Jeff O'Ray. Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us, man. Um, I think that's pretty funny and pretty cool, and I really do hope we get this character in the 112 line. I think it'd be really awesome. Uh, but I got two of him, so I don't know if everyone is getting two, or maybe that was an accident, but I got a double Jeff Array stickers in my box, so hey, man, that's awesome. I'm all about extra stickers. Uh, then we got this girl right here who is T-E-N or 10. I'm guessing because she's a perfect 10, so that's pretty cool. But I love how she's holding a little grub and a little gun right there. I love that, dude. That's really, really cool. We got the secret agent Gomez here. This is the figure that we're actually getting in this one, so I love that. <clears throat> I'm really stoked about this guy, One-Eyed Jack. I cannot wait for this. I, this is a figure I, I'm almost positive we're gonna get down the line, but I love that. And oh, you see he has a little head with the heart on there. I'm hoping he gets like multiple heads with multiple different card suits over his eye so he could have whatever suit you want. I think that would be awesome. Uh, then we get Kill a Queen Bee. That's rad too, man. Very cool in character, got a gold pistol. She got some cards in her hand, a bullet across her belt. I love that. So these are really cool. Always happy to get things like extra stickers and stuff. Love these things. Okay, so now we get a uh, deck of playing cards, which I'm all about. A uh, little known fact about myself, I actually do collect decks of playing cards. Um, I, am a, I have a crazy collection of hundreds and hundreds of decks of playing cards. Uh, of course, Bicycle are my favorites. Uh, so getting a Mezco themed deck is awesome for me. I love having that in my collection now. Casino La Cucaracha playing cards. You got the little Gomez head with the suits like that. Uh, a little emblem on the back right there. That looks really, really cool. So we're gonna pop these open like that and we're gonna see all the actual cards that we do get right here, which is really nice. Uh, so you got the Slugfest character right there on that. Uh, we do get a couple really cool Jokers. I love the Jokers here. They're gonna come up pink skulls. I think those look awesome, man. Love that, dude. Uh, the cards here look great. So here's that Jeffrey or Jeff O'Ray, uh, kill a queen bee like that. We got Jack right here and see what I'm saying? Like look at him, how he has the spade over his eye like that. That's really cool. Uh, simple suits for the rest of the cards. It appears of course, Gomez is the ace. Uh, let's see here. Are those actually different? Yeah. So those are actually different poses of him, Jeff O'Ray, and then different poses of the queen. Uh, no, those are actually the exact same. See, now he has the heart over his eye. Let me see here. I'm going to go through these real quick. Uh, there's the ace again, the Gomez. See, the club on the, over the eye. I think that's actually really, really cool. Um, it's in the diamond. I think that's awesome. So this figure comes with interchangeable heads, excuse me, uh, with like the different suits. I think it'd be so cool, man. And then, of course, Gomez is yeah, ace like that. So these are actually pretty nice cards. Uh, I love the card backs, the different Gomez heads like that, Casino La Cucaracha. Um, again, I am an avid card collector. Uh, so these are actually more of an, a gloss coat finish instead of an air cushion finish, which I would prefer as a collector of, of, of cards. So you can fan these pretty decently. They work okay. Um, so these are just awesome, man. I love these. I'm not sure if I'll ever play with these because I don't want to ruin these, but I am super stoked that I have 
Mezco themed cards in now my card collection. So I love that. So in addition to the cards that we do get, we also do get an actual uh, poker chip, which I think is super rad. Uh, then that's and that's an official chip, man. That actually looks really nice. Got the Mezco emblem right there. I love the little dominoes or the dice, excuse me, dominoes. The little dice emblems around the uh, rim like that, and it's a nice little, little clear case so it keeps it protected. And then you got the Casino La Cucaracha on the back like so. So this is really cool, man. This is the kind of swag that I really do enjoy. You know what I mean? I'm very picky about the swag and all the extra stuff that we get with a lot of these figures. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. Uh, as far as I'm concerned with this particular box, I think it is worth it. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> I just don't like a lot of junk, you know what I mean? So that's just me, but this stuff is really cool for someone like me. We also do get a five points pack of the Pink Skulls Chaos Club. I am all about this, dude. Look at the packaging, it looks great. Got the skulls on top right there. Got the whole band like that rocking out. Really cool imagery on the sides. Uh, nothing really much on the bottom. Got it right there too, so that's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and bust these open right here. Let them breathe a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna fully pull them out, but uh, yeah, dude, oh my goodness. I, okay, you know what? Oof, I might have to do a separate review for just these, uh, because just seeing these in the bubble right here really makes me wanna play with them. So, you know what, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for a separate review of just these because I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing so far. Okay, then the last thing that we do get in this whole box is, of course, the actual figure itself. Uh, it does come in a really nice tin. You got the Mezco exclusive logo up there. Agent Gomez and Secret Agent Gomez in Rumble Society's Casino La Cucaracha. Uh, and I love the imagery that they're doing here. Uh, totally has that James Bond movie poster vibe. You got the robot shark right there. Could've used a freaking laser beam on its freaking head, man. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but I love seeing all of this. Got some black skulls down there. Whoever that chick is, she looks really cool. Casino La Cucaracha. You got the whole title right there. Agent Gomez, oh my goodness, that's a crazy title. But this is really cool. Then you got a simple image of Gomez back there. So I am super happy and super stoked about this. So now with him finally in hand, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and let him breathe. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show off here uh, is we get a really cool like diorama backdrop piece here. Uh, it's done on a really nice thick card stock, so it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. Uh, but I just like the fact that it even came with this. You got the Casino La Cucaracha here, so you got the whole casino scene. Uh, and there's all kinds of little hidden things in here. You can see the little grub at the bottom, which I think looks rad. You got black skulls all over this place. Uh, some of those other characters, uh, including that lizard character right there, who I believe won the fan vote, so he's gonna be coming, I'm assuming, sometime next year, which is really rad. But I love all the different characters that you see here. Like, you have some, those are like legit Bond villains that we get in here, and they're self, I'm assuming. Uh, these are, and then you'll see like hidden, like old school Hollywood people in here. Like, is that the Three Stooges? <laughs> That's really cool, man. You got some aliens for some reason, and uh, Elvis, and I mean, look at this. This has got some really cool character artwork in here that I think is rather I love the little cat right there. That's super cool. So I love this, man. Uh, even got some black skulls kind of hiding at the top right there. So really cool. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use this as a backdrop for the rest of the video uh, because that's a lot of fun and I might actually use this for my display. So very nice. Okay, so now let's take a look at the actual Gomez figure himself here. Uh, I think this looks really cool. First of all, I love the gold eyes that we get. Uh, and I love the airbrushing that we're getting on the actual head here. They got that roach head, nice, really nice paint detail. So I love stuff like that. Uh, and he is wearing more of like a tuxedo this time. You know, we've seen him in uh, suits and stuff like that. So it's nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. Uh, he got a really nice long sleeve shirt under there. The belt looks really great. Rocking his little bow tie. I love that. Love the little handkerchief and the little coat pocket right there. I don't think that's removable and I don't want to remove it. So it looks like it's stitched in. Uh, but a nice white suit here, looking sharp. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to have, make sure your hands are very clean when you're touching this thing. But the slacks look really, really good. 
loving all of this right here uh you do can see he does have a watch on his wrist and i'll show you what that's for later on but everything about this looks really really good i love the way this turned out those shoes are just killer love how those look very very sharp man uh at the bottom you can see little m's on the bottom of the feet right there get a nice little focus on that but what's really cool about his uh, right foot if you actually push up on the heel you'll actually reveal a little knife so he can totally shank someone with his foot which i think is awesome and you want to like uh kind of squeeze or get your nail in there to close it back up if i can do it like that so because that thing will poke you so, so that's a really cool function uh you just push up on that and it reveals a little blade on there so don't push down on that blade uh you might snap that uh, but just get your nail in there and then push down on the actual heel itself so i love that man and you know it's, it's a lot of people don't like this kind of thing you know gomez in a different uh, outfit no big deal i get it um, but for me, I want Gomez in every outfit, so I'm all about that. This looks just like a lot of fun, and man, so happy to have another Gomez on the shelf. Okay, so now moving on to the accessories here, uh, we of course get those really awesome Mezco stands. I love these, and of course the clear articulated arm, uh, but I love this, how it's decked out to look like the actual poker chip. That is super awesome, done in that really nice yellow to go with that gold theme of like his eyes and things. So I think that works out fantastic. Love, love, love those stands. We also do get an interchangeable head here. Got the standard head like that, uh, and his neck is a little unstraightened. I got to straighten that out. There you go, put that there. And we could get this head on there like that. Like there, we can actually get that on there like that. Uh, right there, so that works out really good. Uh, we've seen this head before, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. Uh, but he has a little more of a uh, the curled up eye and things like that. Uh, and then antennas can move and all that in the same. Uh, but it does have that LED feature and it comes with two little button cell batteries. You hold the little button on the back of the head right here and the eyes will light up. Um, I hate the fact that you have to actually hold this for the eyes to light up. There's no actual switch and just leave them on. So that's kind of a pain in the butt get that on actually a little better for you uh so but they look good they work and i think they actually look really really rad so i'm gonna probably display him with these particular uh head uh well i don't know yet we'll see actually you know what i'm gonna take this off because i want to put this standard head back on like so okay um one cool thing that i really really dug this dude actually comes with a pair of shades. We've never gotten shades with the Gomez before, and I think that's really cool. So these kind of fit over the eyes, and you kind of got these little slots right there back of the back of his brow that will kind of just like tuck in right there, and boom, how cool does he look now? <laughs> I love it so much, it's so cool. Uh, dude, the shades, man. Now see, and that's what I'm saying, like, oh man, do I wanna rock him with the shades like that? I don't know, but that's a really cool look for my man here. Uh, so I just love the fact that it comes with that. And he has all kinds of interchangeable hands. You know, if you have any of the Gomez figures or skulls, uh, you know exactly what kind of hands you're getting. So I don't really need to show those off. We also do get this really cool pistol. I love the way that looks. This is a new gun. I don't think we've seen this one before, uh, but I like the way that looks. Uh, you actually can take this like silencer extender thing off like that if you wanted to, uh, but I'm going to keep that on because I think that looks great. Uh, I believe this piece you can actually cock back, so that's really awesome too. Uh, then you can remove the uh, magazine like that as well. Uh, so that looks really, really rad, man. So very cool piece. I love that. And actually do get a second magazine with that one. And just in case you lose one, you also do get the same gun that we've seen before with, I think like the black skulls and the white skull agent and things like that. So that's something new. You can remove the magazine as well. Uh, so that's also really, really rad. Uh, we get these same grenades. I'm pretty sure these are the exact same ones we've seen before have come with previous figures these time they're done like a really nice vibrant silver with that black skull emblem on there so those look awesome as well but again we've seen those before uh we also new boom boom man which i am super stoked about this thing looks so rad a uh, very modern boom boom which is really cool uh, and i'll show off a boom boom comparison here shortly uh but this looks great the black and gold look really nice just again very very modern you got the m's on the side right there that i think looks really cool you got a really nice uh, vinyl strap right here you can strap around his uh shoulder which looks really nice 
the handle can come up like that so that's really good uh you can bring down this whole like center section right here and it has this like a circuit board in there with a picture of gomez with like hearts around it um that's pretty funny and interesting so that looks really really cool though man i love the way that looks you can actually open up the side here and put some storage and weapons and things like that uh, but you will see that there are some circles in there uh those i apparently are to hold these little martinis that um come with a figure that i'm going to try and put in there with my big fat fingers uh so yeah if you want to store uh martini in his boom boom you can do that because he can always use some booze on the go and i'm just not doing that right i can already feel it so <laughs> i'll figure it out but you can store them in there or you can put like the grenades in there or one of the guns and things like that so that's really cool or you can take the other side uh, and you can actually pop off this whole thing like that, which I think is red. And that's where this piece comes on. You have a little rocket effect, which is super dope. I love the way that looks with the smoke coming off and things like that. That can be plugged into the boom boom like that. And now like you utilize your boom boom as a rocket launcher, which I think is cool. And that's totally reminds me of the things like El Mariachi and uh, it was a Desperado and things like that uh, with... Uh, Oh my God, Antonio Banderas, where you had those guys had the, the guitar cases that shot missiles and machine guns and things like that. So that reminds me of that. So I love that, man. That's a really cool addition. This is a really nice updated boom boom, which I think is great. We also do get a bunch of bullet effect pieces and these are ones that we've seen before. Uh, they really look nice. They got that big burst one like that. Uh, you got the single bullet one, like so, with a little bullet coming off. I love that. Uh, I believe this one is new. I cannot remember for the life of me. Remind me if it is or not. I really don't remember, but I love that. You got the little burst coming off like that, uh, shooting like multiple shots. So I think that's really, really cool too. Uh, but what's also really nice, probably my favorite accessory in this whole thing here, is going to be this hoverboard which is insane now we've seen hoverboards with gomez figures in the past but this one is insane man so first of all it looks really good the sculpt looks incredible uh you do have these rotating like saw blades that do spin can spin out and you can just saw things and cut through things uh while he's riding on it which i think is rad uh you got a little a little nib right here you can actually push up and it'll extend these guns on the front like that, which I think is really cool. And has a little peg holes for some effect pieces. So I love the way that looks, man. Put those in, I should put that in like that. Oh, it's also really cool. This isn't magnetic, I wish it were, uh, but it does have peg holes and you can actually adjust these to have him write it however you want. I love that they did that. Those work out great, so I really dig that. We also do get different types of attachments here. Uh, so this is really cool. You got these two like little machine gun things that you can peg on the side of the board like that. Got them here like so, and put that on right there. I think that's super awesome. Little machine gun turrets, and again, these are adjusted and you can pose them around however you need to, so I'd like that. We got ones with uh, freaking rocket launchers. You see the little missiles, or no, I'm sorry, I think that's upside down. I believe it goes like this, like that. Am I getting that right? So there, like that, right? Am I doing this right? Feel free to let me know if I'm doing it wrong. Totally fine. Uh, like this, like that, right? I think that looks super cool too, dude. Uh, but you have a little thing on the bottom right here where you can actually push that forward and it'll push these little missiles, missiles forward like that. Same thing on this side, boom, like that. And again, that's dope, man. This is a really a gnarly hoverboard. So you can take these off, and then you can put these ones on right here. Uh, these ones are more like uh, thrusters, so these will actually be facing uh, the back end like that. And plug this one on like so as well, like that. And boom, now you can give him a little extra boost uh, when he wants to fly and make a quick getaway. I think that's super freaking awesome, man. Uh, but with these, you actually get uh, thruster effects. So you can actually pop these in like so, like that, and another one over here, like zoo, to try not to break that, be very careful, and boom, oh yeah, buddy. I think that works out so freaking awesome. This is definitely a really big upgrade 
uh, for a hoverboard. You know, this is definitely the best one we've seen. I love this. I hope we get different versions and colorways of this because I think this is a great accessory. So moving on to the last few accessories here, uh, we do get a really nice smoke effect that you could plug into any of the guns here, which I think is rad, really cool for your action figure photography uh, to have the little smoke effect like that. Man, I hope they include that more because that is a really sweet looking piece, so I love that. Now the last thing we're gonna take a look at is of course his watch here. Um, it is a nice simple gold watch, but if you can kind of see right there, he does have a little peg hole right on the face of the actual clock. Uh, that is because we get different types of attachments here. Uh, so we get a simple like smoke effect that you can plug in like that. If you wanna shoot smoke out of that, and it's not plugged in all the way right there, but you can plug it in more. But I think that's really cool that we get these different options. That's really fun. We also do get like a poison effect like that to make people go to sleep or whatever it is you want to do. So I think that's really rad. Uh, but probably my favorite one is this one right here. Dude has like a legit flamethrower. <laughs> he can shoot out of that watch. That's amazing, man. There are so many cool display options with this figure, with things like that. Three different display options just for his watch. I think that is so cool. I am just having so much fun with this figure. He's a great, great Gomez. So let's go ahead and run down articulation. It's If you have any Gomez figure or anything like that, you know exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, double ball peg at the uh, head and the neck right there. Can rotate up and down, pivot side to side. Arms go up and down, up and out. Rotate at the bicep, double jointed elbows, rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. Double ball peg in the midsection, rotates left and right, pivots side to side, crunches back and forth, hips kick forward up that much. Those pants work very nicely, doesn't hinder that at all. Back a little bit, splits out about that far, rotation in upper thigh, double jointed uh, knees, can, can kick himself in his own butt, so that's really good. Uh, then you got the ankles on ball joints, so those roll around, rotate up and down, and a sweet ankle rocker. So overall, I'm so happy with this. I love it. Uh, again, it's not for everybody. I totally understand that, but it's for people like me who love Gomez and just want every version of him possible. I think this is one of the, my opinion, gonna say it, one of the best Gomez figures that we have, you know, due to all those really cool accessories, a lot of new unique parts that we're getting here. I love it. That hoverboard is rad. And man, he is a fantastic piece and will look great on your Mezco shelf. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to the Mezco 112 Collective Black Skull Death Brigade and White Shadow Assassin Gomez. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Secret Agent Gomez. Now overall I think this is a fantastic figure. I love this whole James Bond vibe that they gave Gomez. I think it's just really cool, the tuxedo and the soft goods are really well done. I really dig his watch with the multiple different effect pieces. I think that's super awesome and super smart and again, all these interchangeable parts and accessories make for crazy display options. I love things like the shades and all the different bullet effects, but man, that hoverboard has got to be one of the coolest accessories that we've ever gotten from Mezco. The fact that you can adjust the feet pegs, uh, the saw blades that rotate, the different interchangeable thrusters, missile launchers, and machine guns is just really cool to me. That is a fantastic accessory. Like I said, again, I hope we get it in other colorways because I really want more of those. But man, this is a fantastic figure. Now again, I know not everyone is into the whole Gomez cockroach thing, but I love him, I adore his figures. I'm always stoked when we get a new one, and I think this figure would fit in great in all of your Mezco collections. So be excellent to each other, and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.